Hello everyone and welcome back to something of everything. In this video we will learn how to release members in State Pro. Releasing members for moments where a beam is, secondary beam is connecting to main beam allows us to release the moment. Why we need to release them? Because if we are not releasing it, it will create the torsional moment in the main member which will be causing twisting effect in the main beam and make the beam uneconomical and vulnerable to structural failure. So as you can see where the support icon is being seen are the column locations all the other locations are beam to beam connections. So in this beam this point will be released in this beam this point needs to be released. So if you can see this is a 3D model I am just cl clicking on top view to know which are the points it needs to be released. Let us do it. Do it. In general tab, specification tab, we have to go to beam and we have to release MY and MZ at start node and MY and MZ in the end nodes. To see which is the point this is, whether it is the start point or the end point, we have to just press shift E to know whether it is a start point or end point. Generally we design the structure from left to right and bottom to top. So in order to do that we have to change the incidence of these beams, vertical beams or say the beams in the Z. So to do that we have to go to select beams parallel to Z and in tools redefine incidences. We have to select the third option and press OK. As you can see, the incidence of the beams has been changed and the lowest point in the Z direction, lower side of Z direction, are became green and the end node became on the upper side. The blue marking shows the end node and green marking shows the start node. So in this beam we have to give release in start where the green is being seen. Let me just press shift E again to hide the start and end nodes. As you can see, this beam is full of full length but connecting to the main beams in between. So in this case we will release at start node of this. In this beam, beam number will be not be that accurate and in this beam we will release the moment in end node. Why so? because in between it is a continuous beam so the moment will get balanced and the torsional moment will be compatible to the slab I guess so let us start releasing the members as we know now that the beams are going from left to right and bottom to up so we do not need this start and end all we have to do is we have to select the beams which are releasing from start node at start node and press this start mymz and assign to selected beams and press enter assign press yes as you can see a blue circle has been marked where the release has been done same way we have to select the beams where we need to release ends and we have to press end mymz and press assign this member has been left out first so the release of members has been completed. This way you can release the secondary members which are connecting to main beams to avoid the torsional moment in the main beams. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe the same. Thank you.